Hello, first graders. Here we are back with our lesson number three. Okay, so we're going to use that gray scale. I hope you have saved it. Okay, and also saved your landscape because you're going to see we're going to put it all together at the end. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a 3D house. Okay, there are many different ways to draw a 3D house. Okay, we're not going to focus too much on the bottom part of the house, but we're going to try to put a 3D house. Okay, so your best tool, as always, is your pencil and eraser, right? Okay, so we're going to do this. Look, we're going to start with the square, okay? So I'm going to use the Sharpie so you can see, all right? So I'm going to make a square, right? First thing, okay? Then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put a triangle on the top of that square. So I'm going to put a triangle. See? So square, triangle. Okay? A little bit of a rectangle is fine. Okay? Square, triangle. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another square here. Okay? See it? Right? So square, square, triangle. Now, that's when it gets tricky. Okay? So my line in here has to be shorter than this one here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to stop like halfway. See? So I'm going to stop halfway. Okay? Then from here, I'm going to go there. See? That's how I can make a 3D house. It should be, this should be a little twisted, but we're not going to go there now. Okay, we're just going to focus more on making 3D like that. Okay? So that's the first thing you have to do. Okay? So when you're done with that, we're going to go and use the grayscale. All right? So do this. Okay, so now I have my house, okay? So, well, let's say I want to add a, a door. Okay, and I'll add one window, okay? Maybe I'll add two. Why not? Okay, now I'm going to leave it up to you. So you can do your house any way you want. Mine is going to be like that. Okay? Now, I need to put my house on the ground. So I'm going to make a line here. Okay? So here's my house. Now, I'm going to put a sun on this side. Okay? So, if you stop to think about it, my sun is here, my house is here, so the light from the sun is here. That's when we use our grayscale. See, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my pencil, and I'm going to use a number five right on this here. So I'm going to look at my number five, and I'm going to go kind of like that. See, look. So that's my number five, okay. So I'm going to use a number five here, all right? So let me take a, take a look here. I'm going to put it here so I can see better. All right, so here, okay? So now this here is even farther, so I'm going to use a number eight here. Okay, now in here, because the sun is kind of coming, I'm going to use a number two. Okay. 
Now, in here, I'm going to leave like that. Now, if I wanted to make a shadow, see, like the shade from the house, then I'm going to use the number 10. So if the sun is there, I'm going to put a shadow here in the block. Okay? See? Here? But I'm going to make very, 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 it's going to be number 10. Very, 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 very. So, see, this is how value works. So this one here should be a little darker part of my house. Okay? Now, this one is not as dark. Okay? This one is lighter. This one is lighter. All right? Why don't you go ahead and try to put your grade scale to work? Okay? I would love to see your project. Thank you for sending everything you'll be sending it. And let's see how we go from that, okay? All right, keep in mind that if your sun isn't here, if the sun is on the other side, then it changes everything. So make sure your light source is here. So light here, dark on the other side, okay? So if you think about this, look, you see my hand here? Shadow is always behind. Light is here, right in front of me, okay? That's why you can see my face, so shadow is always behind. Keep that in mind, and let's see what you got. Looking forward. Bye-bye, first one.